take the opportunity to show you just how easy it is to terminate LMR 400 cable with our Easy Style connector. This is a brilliant copper spring finger contact, no soldering required, very rugged connector, excellent VSWR performance, excellent corrosion resistance. Also our tools, our tools between our cable, our connector design and our tools make it very, very simple. So just to show you how simple it is, I'm gonna to attempt to terminate it blindfolded. So let's see how this goes. First thing I wanna do is cut the cable nice and cleanly. This is our CCT03 cutting tool. What you do is you take it, place it onto the cable, spring loaded, place it maybe a couple inches back, put your finger through this hole here, just spin the, the tool. And what you do is you end up cutting the cable nice and, keep it nice and square, nice and, nice and round, you're not crushing the cable. At this point, you take uh, our lubricant, a WSB, uh, or a rubber slide lubricant for our WSB loop. You take just a drop of it and you place it onto the cable here. And then you take our your boot, WSB boot, get it started over the cable. Just give it a little push, slide it back a little bit. Then the next thing you wanna do is take the ferrule. You wanna take the crimp ferrule, place it over the cable like so. Then you take the, cut, the prep tool, the CST400 prep tool. There's two sides. So you wanna take side one. Take, I can even feel my finger, there's nothing stuck in there. Pop it onto the cable until it stops, like so. Now you push down that thumb switch and you spin it. And I can't see when it's depressed all the way, but I, I could kind of get a feel for it. You know, you, want, you typically want to press it all the way down. Once it's down, you make an extra spin. But I, I think we're there. Leave it depressed, pull it. That takes a whole pellet off the cable. Now you flip the side around to side two. Now there's a, there's a deburr tool. You want to line that deburr tool up and just a little back and forth, about a half a dozen times, take the burrs off that center conductor. Now there's, there's two options on side two. There's a, a crimp and a clamp. You want to set for crimp. Now I took the liberty to set for crimp before I even got started. Just to set for crimp. Place it over the cable, just like an old fashioned pencil sharpener. You just let the tool do the work. You just spin it until it spins freely. You just like that, and you, pop, and you pull the tool off. At that point, you just take the braid wires, just fold them back a little bit, yeah, not much. You take the connector, connector, like I said, no soldering. You just get it started, you get it onto the core. It's already a snug fit on there. Now you push it and turn it, like so. And you feel it right up on the uh, center conductor. You take your crimp ferrule and you push it. And now that you see the braids are right where you need them to be, like that. Now you take your, your uh, hex tool. What you want to do is take a 429 hex. This is a CT300 slash 400. Got a 429 hex uh, crimp in it. You want to get that on the, uh, the cable and you want to crimp it just once at the very back of the connector body. Like so. You don't want to make an extra crimp. If you do, you're going to crush a jacket. You're going to change it and pin to the cable. So just one. And you may notice there's ribs in the back of the connector here. There's ribs molded to the back of the boot. That's by design. These ribs will lock onto these ribs, create a IP67 seal, and also a really good strain relief. Now, if we could, if we could find our lubricant, <laughs> dries pretty quick. We'll put one more drop here. And we'll take this boot and try to slide it forward here. And you probably you might have heard it, but it just locks in place and it's locked in there solid. You got a nice strain relief. You got a nice weather seal. Hey, it came out pretty good. Yeah, thanks a lot.